Use code AFTV20 for 20% off your order with Fireway Pizza. Just click the link in the description below or go to fireway.co.uk now. AFTV, Bayern Munich 1, Arsenal 0. I'm here with Sheroy. Sheroy out of the Champions League at the quarterfinal stage. And, you know, you've heard what everyone else has had to say. And I think overall, everyone's extremely disappointed. Do you follow that same sentiment? Yeah, and let me contextualise that. You remember all those years that we weren't in the Champions League? I remember. And we used to watch these nights and think, man, I cannot wait to be back in this competition. And then we get to a level where, you know, we, we have to go through pain to miss out to Tottenham on the top four. Mm. And we have to basically mount a title challenge the year after to get back into this competition. Um, and that's how we go out. <laughs> and that's how we go out. So you think about how hard you had to work. You think about all the sort of blood, sweat and tears that went into that, what the fans had to go through to wait to get back into that competition. And you go one nil down to what I have to say was a shoddy piece of defending. There were, there were two men that just completely switched off there and Tommy Astro and Martinelli from memory. I haven't watched it back. Mm -hmm. That goal goes in on the 63rd minute. The game ends at the 94th. Half an hour, Frank. Three shots, none on target. And not a shot on target. I don't know what that says about what this team's built of, sadly. And I've, this isn't me being reactionary and I understand that it's emotive because it's right after the game, but Lons away, we lose. PSV away, we draw. Porto away, we lose. Bayern away, we lose. And it's really strange because obviously you look at our away form in the league, for example, and we've got a fairly decent record away from home in the league. When it comes to Europe, we just don't seem to be able to get it done. I know, I know. And, and I think one of the reasons why this hurts more is almost a replica of the Villa game. I watched the first half Absolutely. against Villa. I watched the first half today and I thought, right, okay. Reason for encouragement. Um, we play pretty well. We create chances. We should take them and we don't. Second half, you think, okay, keep doing the same thing. Keep getting those chances. Put one or two away. Create nothing. I mean, the reality is we, the manager talks about games are decided in moments. We have to be better in both boxes. There are small margins when you're at the elite level. Well, okay, but I mean, you, you need to, you know, draw that into Martinelli when he, he rushes that shot, which was a very clear cut opportunity. You need to drill that into Gabriel Jesus, even though he doesn't know the offside flag is going to go up when he just absolutely blitzes it from the right hand side. You need to draw that into Martin Odegaard when he tries to go near post and he, and he should go across. You need to drill that into Bukayo Saka when he tries to take a quick free kick in the 94th minute and then risk not getting a corner. Luckily, we get to take it. But you need to tell that to Bukayo Saka when he takes a corner in the 94th minute doesn't and doesn't clear the first man. You know, I mean, <laughs> actions speak louder than words, Frank. And it's been three years on the bounce now where I've heard a lot of, we remember the pain from last year and we will use it to galvanize us with respect. You don't need any more pain to galvanize you. You shouldn't, you shouldn't need that much pain mm. to motivate you to at least put in a performance yeah. that, that is worthy of a, t a team that has challenged for the Premier League title twice. Yeah. And, and that's what's the most disappointing because, again, for me, I, correct me if I'm wrong, man. If you think differently, just tell me. It's not a question of ability. Absolutely We not. are better than that. And we've shown that at points during this season. You know, we're against winning five and six for no reason. We've shown yeah. it against very good opposition. You know, we've beaten Liverpool. We've beaten Manchester City. We've gone to their gaffes and taken a point off them. So a lot of, a lot of what rival fans say is when well, April hits and, and you crumble and they talk about mentality. Mm -hmm. Are they right, man? No, I completely understand what you're saying. And obviously you look at it over the last two or three games, like even, you know, the way you summed it up today was perfect. I completely agree with you in terms of it was similar to what we saw against Aston Villa in terms of the first half we was playing great football. Second half looked like a completely different team. What do you think it is or that is, what do you think it is that he isn't saying to them? Because we can, again, we look like a completely different team coming out into these second halves and it's going to be a concern going into these last six games in the league. What do you think it is that he is or isn't doing? to motivate them for these second halves? In, in the Villa game in this game, I'll use those two in isolation because they were the most recent and they were sort of replicas of each other. Mm -hmm. We didn't take the risks 
that are warranted in the second half when there is that much on the line in a particular game. And by that, I mean, on the weekend, Liverpool just lost. You could have eliminated a title contender. You had to win. Didn't show for it. Didn't take risks. And today, you're about to go out of European league competition. Didn't take risks. And listen, I, I'm not having any of the... Um, we can focus on the league stuff now because this isn't the Carabao Cup. This isn't the FA Cup. This isn't the, the bigger fish to fry scenario. Yeah. This is the biggest competition. This is the elite competition. This is where good players get put into the world-class bracket. This is where good teams, they're in the history books if they win this. All of that should be encapsulated in the way in which you perform and what you leave on that pitch. And we went out with a whimper. And, and I've, I've heard a lot of, there's no shame in going out to Bayern 3-2. And Well, there is. There the man, is there, the there, manner there, in which there, we went exactly. out. Exactly, there's yeah. context. You know, when you just look at the scoreline, fine. But we went 1-0 up in the first leg. We should have made it two with Ben White. Games are decided in moments. What do we do? We give them two naive goals. Okay, cool, but you live to fight another day. We come here, we have a good first half. We have chances that we should score, Frank. And we don't put them away. You know, games are decided in moments. We didn't, we didn't show enough. And, and my, my concern is that ultimately, I understand it's a young team. I understand that there aren't many proven winners in that team. But I do need to talk about some of the people that this manager has shown faith in now. Don't get me wrong, I'm a, I'm a huge Arteta fan, always have been. Anyone that follows me on the channel will know that. I'm not questioning whether he should be the manager of this team. I'm not questioning whether he's the right guy to take us forward. But today, in isolation, no agendas. Anyone that knows me knows I don't have agendas. Kai Havertz was a passenger, up front and in midfield. The, the passenger performance up front illustrated to me that he didn't warrant remaining on the pitch, so he should not have been moved into midfield, particularly when you have quality like Thomas Partey on the bench. Martinelli coming off, I thought, was very strange Pretty because nice. because Thomas Tuchel, pre-game, said, yeah, Arsenal, they like to attack down the right. They use Odegaard, they use Saka, they use White. Do more down the left. Give Martinelli the opportunity down the left, you know. He's always the first to come off. And ultimately, the be our best chance in the game fell to him. Um, and defensively, I don't think we did too much wrong apart from the goal. Absolutely. I thought the centre-backs were fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, but there was just something, something today that you, you had a feeling that no matter how long that game went on for, that goal would not come. And that's a horrible, horrible feeling to stomach when a few weeks ago we were the most prolific goal-scoring team in the country. I'm, I'm super dejected. Sorry for the monologue, Frank. I just don't... It's difficult to process your no, thoughts. No, of course. So I completely understand. It's a tough result to take. And yeah. look, this is two really disappointing results on the bounce now. Do you believe we're at risk of this season potentially spiralling out of control in these last six games in the league? Well, definitely at risk of it. Um, because pre-international break, we were some of the best football I've ever seen. <laughs> it was nuts. But we came back from the international break. Didn't look that great against Brentford. Um, didn't look incredible in either Porto game. Lost to Villa and ultimately have gone out to Bayern. So this is a worrying trend and it has to change fast. Um, and you know who you're up against and you have to be perfect. Got some big games coming up. Now, the issue is, I've just seen Arsenal put out a tweet and I've read bits from Arteta's press conference and it's very much on to the next one, big game against Wolves. This was a run to stay proud of, stay with us Gooners. Well, firstly, we were always with you and I'm still with you, so you don't need to say that. But the message was the same after Villa. And what better game to get yourselves up for and rectify it than a knockout game against Bayern? But they didn't show it. It's not the fans that didn't show it. They didn't show it. The changes came too late. We had half an hour to score, didn't have a shot on target. So your question was, are we at risk? It would take an extremely irrational person to suggest that we're not at risk. That being said, do I think we can beat Wolves? Of course. Do I think we can beat Tottenham? Of course. Do I think we can beat Everton? Of course. Do I think we can beat United? Of course. Do I think we can beat, who else is there, Chelsea? Yep. Of course. I mean, I'm sure I've missed a game or two, but we know this team has the ability to do it. Something's holding us back. They need to figure it out and they need to fix it quick. Otherwise, we risk giving ourselves a really bad reputation. Absolutely. Thank you, Shrey.